Good day, Sir Ryan, and to everyone who is watching this. I am Liam Riverjan A, a student from 11th grade STEM, St. Francis of Assisi. And today, I will be presenting to you my performance task in basic calculus. So, the presentation is all about the story of the mountain climber. So, this is the situation given. A mountain climber wants to climb up a mountain that is 1,000 meters high. In the first R, he climbed half the height of the mountain. And in the second R, he climbed half the distance he climbed in the first R. And in the third R, he climbed half the distance he climbed in the second R. So the goal or task for this presentation is to determine whether a mountain climber can reach the peak of a mountain given a scenario using the concept of limits. So now, let us proceed with the solution. So these are the following clues from the given situation. The mountain climber wants to climb up a mountain that is 1,000 meters high. In the first R, the mountain climber climbed half the height of the mountain. In the second R, the mountain climber climbed half the distance he climbed in the first R. And in the third R, the mountain climber climbed half the distance he climbed in the second R. So this is the equation used. The limits of x all over 2 as x approaches to infinity. So let us proceed, shall we? So in the first R, given that the mountain climber wants to climb up a mountain that is 1,000 meters high. In the first R, the mountain climber climbed half the height of the mountain. So with this solution, we're going to use the equation, um, the limits of x, all over 2 as x approaches to infinity. So all we have to do is just substitute the x by 1,000 and divided it by 2 so the quotient will be or the answer will be 500 so therefore in the first R the mountain climber was able to climb 500 meters so now we're going to solve for the second R so given that in the second R the mountain climber climbed half the distance he climbed in the first R so just like in the first R we're going to substitute the X which is 500 since 500 is the distance that the mountain climber climbed in the first R. So all you have to do is just divide 500 by 2. So the quotient or the, or the answer will be 250. So therefore, the mountain climber was able to climb 250 meters high in the second R. So now let us proceed with the third R. So given that in the third R, the mountain climber climbed half the distance he climbed in the second R. So since in the second R, the mountain climber was able to climb 250 meters high, so all you have to do is just divide 250 by 2. So the quotient or the answer will be 125. So therefore, in the third R, the mountain climber was able to climb 125 meters high. So after the solution, we are going to proceed with the table and graph. <laughs> so, shown on your screens right now is the table. So as you can notice or as you can observe that as the R's increase, the distance decreases. So in the first R, the climber was able to reach 500 meters. In the second R, the climber was able to reach 250 meters. In the third R, the climber was able to reach 125 meters, and so on and so forth. So, shown on your screens right now is the graph of the equation. So, as you can notice or observe that the line is heading upwards, which illustrates the direction of the mountain climber. To provide my conclusion, I therefore conclude that by 9 to 10 hours of climbing up the mountain, the climber could still be able to arrive at the top of the mountain. However, if we refer or base this to the given situation, 3 hours is not a adequate time to reach the peak of the mountain that is 1,000 meters high. Since if we add all the distance the climber climbed inside the 3 hours, the climber will only surpass 875 meters high. 
the limit in this situation does not exist because the computation is everlasting and does not end. We can also say that as the time or the r increases, the distance or meter decreases. So that's all for my presentation and thank you all for watching. Have a great day ahead. Bye!